this weather. I know there would be hundreds and hundreds more, but for the weather. But your warmth, your spirit, your energy are going to inspire a lot of people. You know, there are days when I miss being Attorney General, and this is one of them, because I would be doing exactly what Attorney General Tong is doing and launching this inquiry to enforce the law if there is wrongdoing in connection with this museum. Now, let me come right to the point, because I don't want to keep you out in the shower for too long. I'm here to say we need to keep this museum. We need to keep this collection intact. We need to keep it intact here in Connecticut. It is a Connecticut treasure that should be kept in Connecticut. It should not be dispersed, divided, split up. That's what happened to the Irish people as a result of the Great Famine. This is a moral reckoning. It is a moral imperative. Put aside the legal inquiry that is ongoing. There's a moral obligation here to the people who worked hard for this museum, who contributed to it, who sacrificed to make it possible. And yes, my name is O. Blumenthal, perhaps to some of you. Certainly it is. Every time I march in the New Haven St. Patrick's Day Parade, I have not missed one yet in the last 30 years. But it's more about symbols because this museum is part of all of our history. It is an Irish story, but it's an American story. One million people died in the Great Famine. Two million people left Ireland. Many of them came here. And their families, they and their families speak to us today. They speak to us about refugees, about food insecurity, about the issues of today. This museum is not just history. It is a living piece of all of us. Now, I want to quote from John Leahy, who was so instrumental in establishing this museum. And frankly, he's one of the heroes of American education, building Quinnipiac. Building Quinnipiac, a great American success story. And let me tell you, a great American university doesn't walk away from museums about Irish history. I am perplexed why anyone in this day and time would even consider closing, closing a museum dedicated to educating people about the evils of discrimination and bigotry. Why would we walk away from educating people about discrimination and bigotry? It isn't right. So I join in asking Quinnipiac, its trustees, its staff, its administration to reconsider this decision, not just for the sake of people who are Irish Americans, but all the people of Connecticut. Keep this museum in Connecticut. Keep the collection intact. Keep it here in Connecticut. Thank you for being here today and showing us what is important about America, what's important about America. Thank you all.